All right, today we're doing two activities. The first one, we're going to look at an RC circuit. RC circuit is a simple series circuit. We have a voltage supply, like a battery, a resistor, and a capacitor. And the capacitor initially uncharged. When I throw the switch, uh, then the capacitor will start to charge up. But the charge doesn't appear instantly. It takes some time to do that. And the equation describing the charge as a function of time is Q equals Q naught times the quantity one minus E to the minus T over tau. So the charge increases exponentially. Q naught here is just equal to the final charge, which is CV, right? the capacitance times the voltage of the battery. This uh, term tau up here is called the capacitive time constant, and it's equal to RC, the resistance times the capacitance. So again, the final voltage is the voltage on the capacitor after it's completely charged, and that's equal to CV. So with this, I can write that the voltage on the capacitor is equal to its final voltage times one minus E to the minus T over tau, where this V is equal to Q naught over C. So T with a one-half subscript is the time to reach half the maximum voltage. So if I put half the maximum voltage, then I have E times one minus E to the minus, e to the minus T one-half over tau. And solving for T one-half, I get E to the minus T one-half over tau equals one-half. And then two equals E to the T one-half over tau and then I can get at the T one half by taking the log of both sides. So I have log of two equals T one half over tau, or tau log two equals T one half. And then substituting RC for tau, I have RC log two equals T one half. Solve for C, I get T one half over R log two. So we'll try to measure T one half, and then from that we can get a experimental value for the capacitance C, and then we'll compare that to the given value of the capacitance. So that's what we're going to do in this activity. So I'll set up the circuit, and then we'll run the software, and we'll try to measure the time to reach half maximum voltage. All right, so we're going to use the uh, PASCO circuit kit, uh, like we did for the other electronics activities. And we also have a PASCO 550 universal uh, interface where we can connect with the computer. And here's the output over here from the interface goes into here where we're going to input our voltage. And then I have a voltage sensor connected to channel B. So we're going to start with a uh, 330 uh, microfarad capacitor. So I have a 330 microfarad capacitor I'm going to connect here and then for this one we're going to use a 100 ohm resistor so connect the 100 ohm resistor between here and here 100 ohm resistor of course so you have a <coughs> brown black brown as the stripe colors on the resistor, brown it refers to one, black is zero, and then another brown. So this is the, f the first two stripes are the digits, so I have brown, black, that's a one, zero, and then times 10 to the first power, which is 10, so a 10 times 10, so which is 100, okay? So here's my, my input, I go through the resistor, and then through the capacitor, and then back to the return. So I just have a simple series circuit, and I want to measure the voltage across the capacitor, so I have a voltage sensor, so I connect that right across the capacitor. And now my circuit is set up, and we'll open up uh, the capstone software, the activity for this one, and then we'll let the computer collect our data. So I'm going to switch the camera over to the computer now. Okay, I have the program loaded up. Uh, the first two pages are the workbook. It just explains what the activity is. Page two here just gives our conditions. <clears throat> we 
we're going to use a, a positive square wave as our input with an amplitude of 4 volts, a frequency of 0.4 hertz, and our sample rate is 2 kilohertz. So I'm just going to check everything, make sure everything's set up right. So I look at my uh, interface, and I have a voltage sensor and output voltage. Look at the signal generator, 0.4 hertz, 4 volts. I'm going to set to auto for the collection. So I can close that. And I go over to page 3, and here's my graph. Uh, everything should be set up. Check the data summary. I'm going to monitor voltage channel B. Voltage channel will be here in time. So I go ahead, click record, and I get my data. Okay, so there's my data. Let me change the color to a darker color so you can see this better. There's a dark red. Okay, so we input a positive square wave. So as the voltage comes up, you can see the capacitor start to charge. All right, so we're going to click in two more runs just to make sure we get the data. So I'll click record again. And I get a second run. And then collect a third one. Okay, now I want to get the measurements. I want to find the time to half maximum. So we've got time on the horizontal scale. So I'm going to go to my first run. So up here we have the uh, data tool. So I collect that and select the first run. <clears throat> and I can adjust the scale a little bit. Now to actually get the measurement off the graph, we have a tool up here. It looks like a little plus. I click on that and I have a coordinate tool and I can select that and put it right on my graph and then that will give me the coordinates for that individual point and I can control that with the arrow keys. So our maximum voltage is 4 so I can just move this up here to check for sure. Yes we get 3.993 volts so we're going to move this down to half the maximum which would be a 2 volts. So I move this to closest to 2 volts, and then I just read the time, and the time is 2.5230 seconds, so I'm going to write that down, 2.5230 seconds, and then we're going to move this down to the bottom, and at the lowest point then, I've got 2.4 nine nine five seconds so the time at half maximum minus this time at the bottom that will give me the time it takes to reach half maximum okay so let's check the other runs so I'll go select run two and I'm going to add a coordinate tool here as well add a coordinate tool put that right on the axis and I'll go to my two volts and I get the same number 2.5230 and bring that down to the bottom again 2.4995 so I get exactly the same numbers let's check the third run so run number three add my coordinate tool Bring that one down to 2 volts. And again, 2.5230, exactly the same number as the other two. And then go down to the bottom. Two point four nine nine five, exactly the same times as the other ones. So I'll just Go ahead and keep the first numbers. Uh, the given capacitance was 330 microfarads, and the resistance that we're using is 100 ohms. Okay, so that's the data for this run. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to change to a different capacitor, and I have one here that is 47 microfarads. And so I'm going to put in 47 microfarad capacitor, and I'm going to change the resistance and put in a 1K ohm resistor. 
So I swapped the 100 ohm with a 1K ohm resistor. Now, I actually uh, measured this capacitor before, and it actually came out to... Uh, it was, so it was 47 microfarads, right? Let me check again. Supposed to be 47 microfarads, and when I measured it with a, uh, a capacitance meter, I got 47.5, so that one was pretty much right on as well, okay? <clears throat> And so I can clear out my data from the other one, and I, everything's all set up, and I just click record. And here's my data. You can see it appears on the screen. I can click it again, get a second one. And now I get a third one. All right, go up to my data tool, select run number one. And my Corda tool, add the Corda tool, and I'm going to put that on the graph, move it down to where I get 2 volts, which is half the maximum, and I get 2.5340, 2.5340 seconds. I record that value, then I go down to the bottom. And the first point before it starts to rise, 2.4995. Now I'll check my other runs and see how those compare. Here's run number two. Add my coordinate tool. Move that to two volts. 2.5340. Two point five three four zero, exactly the same as run number one. Go down to the bottom. Two point four nine nine five seconds, exactly the same as run number one. So there was no change with a different run. Now let's check run number three. See how that one. Add my coordinate tool. Drag my coordinate tool over to the axis and move it down to 2 volts, 2.5340, exactly the same as the other two runs, and 2.4995 at the bottom, exactly the same as the other two runs, all right? So we have the time at half maximum, the time at the low voltage, the difference in those times gives us the time it takes to reach half maximum. So now we have all the data that we need to do the calculation and get a measured value for the capacitance. Okay, So that's it for the data collection for this lab. So next uh, we'll do the, the LR circuit. I'll give you the data for this one here and you can do all the calculations and you answer the uh, questions and turn in that for your lab report. Okay, so then I'll pause the camera here and then we'll set up and do the LR, LR circuit.